Hello everybody, I'm Vested Tortoise, and today I'm going to be playing The Escapist. So, uh, The Escapist is a game where you're in a prison, and you want to escape said prison. So, it's a cool game, and I have played it a bit, but we're just going to go through the tutorial so I can show all of you how the game works and uh, basic mechanics okay escaping good times well this is it time to put this plan to the test all preparation and hard work boils down to this let's get to it use the w a s n d keys to move your prisoner okay simple can go all directions yep move to check your desk and left click it to open take all the items from inside Okay got a screwdriver and a sock and you can just click on them to take them okay right click is used to pick up and drop a desk move your desk to the highlight position so right click on the desk <laughs> now we got on our head <laughs> running with a desk so we can drop this down anywhere and once we drop it down we can stand beside the desk and tap towards it to climb it. So you'll basically get on top of it. So when I go up, you can see into the vents. This allows you to see into the vents. Yeah. So this is one way that you can escape the prison through the vents. So left click on the screwdriver in your inventory, then on the vent above to begin unscrewing it. So click it here turns purple that means I'm using it then click left on the vent shows I'm unscrewing it here and then see it doesn't have the bars anymore and we can climb out left click oopsies climb out by left clicking on it so see that little arrow that shows that we're going up or down okay so we're up in here once inside, make your way to the nearby cell. Okay. So we got to follow this arrow. Uh, right here. So now, we're going to unscrew it again. So we can go down. Dropping down to Durden cell. Hey, hey, buddy. What's up? Just just climb through the vents. No, no biggie. Okay. Flashing bag over icon Durden's mean dur. Yeah, Durden's um, head means he has an item on it. Right click on him to open up his profile. So right click, and then we can see all his stats and stuff. Can yeah. So in case you want to like fight someone, um, which you have to do sometimes, you can check like uh, his strength is 98 out of 100, so pretty strong. But he's not too fast, not really that smart, and his opinion means um, how much he likes you so he eh, he doesn't really care so we're gonna go down to the um, the selling icon and it shows what they sell and it'll normally be a price here and we'll have money and you just click on it to buy it so now we have soap great now you can craft a weapon open the craft menu and add the two items so crafting is down here this little um, hammer you click on that oh G oh okay open the craft there we go okay had to get out of his inventory there we go uh, so now we take the sock just click on it put it in there um, and then click on craft you got your sock a mace a weapon very dangerous. Don't don't play with sock maces, kids. You can kill someone. Okay. To use a weapon, you first need to equip it. So open up your profile and let's do that. First, let, let's click out that craft and you know. Oh, there we go. Okay. Profile. Bobbing. Baboom. Put the sock mace in. Yeah, now we're armed and ready. Let's go. Let's try it out. Press space to toggle to combat mode on and off. Um, with it, click on the guard to target him. So space, you'll see the cursor go red. That means I am in combat mode. And then I press it again, green, and we're good. So you can just walk in and out of doors, going through them. 
we're gonna attack Officer Fragile. Whoops. That 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 that's too bad, Officer Fragile. You're, you're a bit too fragile. Yeah. Oh, look at that one shot KO. He's coming out of nowhere, like 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 someone y'all know. Okay, John Cena. That's right. Ouch. If you stand next to the unconscious guard and left click on him, you can loot his items, grab his outfit. Let's let's just take that guard's outfit. Now now he's only going with his underwear on that. That's a bit misfortunate. But yeah. Now um with uh guard's outfit's actually pretty important when you're escaping. Um well it depends on which way you escape, but if you have a guard's outfit, the guards aren't really gonna question you since they think you're a guard, you know. Good looking. Now go outside to the right and head north past the guards where your exit awaits. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, they they don't even know I'm a sneaky little ninja. Whew. Okay. So this is a hole, and you can drop down in here. This is like one way. Um, you can escape by digging out. So we're just gonna drop down in here. Dark down here, isn't it? Right click to pick up that shovel, and let's get digging. Okay. Taking that shovel. Now we're gonna use it to dig this dirt. And no, th this is not Minecraft, I know. It, it looks kind of similar, but no. Nah. Okay, digging upwards on an empty space allows you to dig upwards and emerge from the underground. So we're going to use it again and dig up. And this is like the fence in the middle here. So we just dug one, dug two. Now we should be around the fence. Let's go. Run, run, run. And we did it. Okay, that was the tutorial mission. So know what the game is now basically and we're gonna start with center p perks yeah perks center perks okay it's very easy in this prison i i have not escaped to prison in this game i just played it for a bit but um we're going to try to get through all of these prisons to become the the biggest escapist ever okay this, this is bigger than the great escape we're talking here we're we're getting out every single time so we're starting with the very easy place center peaks and we gotta choose a player so let's see who we got here we got the normal kid you know blonde hair nice nice got nice little old timer with his gray hair got billy goat nice little goatee frosive Got black hair, Tango, orange hair, Amaru, no hair. Whew. And that is all the characters. So, I am going to be, I think we're going to go with, going to go with Amaru, you know. Ha had a tough time in jail. All our hair fell out. We were nervous, but we're going to escape now. We're done with prison life. And let us go, you know. What is his name going to be, though? That's the real question. How about... Who? Bald man. He's going to escape prison. Sounds like... A bald eagle. There we go. We got the bald eagle up in here. He's going to be flying out of this prison with his bald head. Yep. And we're going to do this. So here are the other characters. We can name them, but I'm just going to leave them random. Yeah, there they all are. So these are the guys we're going to be in prison with in the jail cells. And then these are the officers we're going to be tricking and sliding behind their backs. So let's go start this game. Okay. Dear Bald Eagle. <laughs> Welcome to Center Perks, the most comfortable, low-security prison in the country. I mean, it sounds pretty easy to escape from. On behalf of all the staff here, we wish you a happy and relaxing visit. Should you get bored of the complimentary cable TV, we pride ourselves in many other engaging activities around the grounds. Warden Dean Hall. Oh man, this, this place sounds pretty nice, actually. Don't even have cable at my house. Whew, look at that cable TV. Prison life is all about learning the rules. 
Okay, I, I did not read that thing, but basically you have to go a roll call, morning roll call. You have to show up and um, the guards talk about who is going to get their um, cells searched. So you don't want to have any bad items in your cell. Yeah, right here. If your name is pulled for a shakedown, then you can't have bad items in your inventory or in your desk. You can have it in your inventory. It's fine. So now, since they did a roll call, we can talk to people as well. So green exclamation marks means that they have a favor request, and we can get like money or items from this. So Rolando um, wants us. So Spud re relieved me of my teddy bear. Could you get back? Okay. So we have to. Um, Go to Spud or find his cell and find that teddy bear that Ronaldo lost. So we're gonna do that. Get get nice 24 smackers right there. Okay, and you can see already some people have stuff for sale. And now we're going to breakfast on day one. Let's go. Ooh, someone else who is that Lee? Lee has something. Performing manual tasks will raise your fatigue. You can lower it by eating, showering, or resting. I think. Oh shoot. Okay, there we go. Here, grab my food. Sit down. Sit down by Samuel right here. And see what favor Edgar has. At next exercise period, distract the guards for me while I slip away. I've got a cell to shake down. I don't know if I can do to Edgar. You know, I, I just came in this prison. I don't want to be riling up the guards. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're going to say a maybe on that, which means... He will keep it. Yeah, he'll keep it so we can pick it up later. But they go away after a while. And then you can see, like, if you click on people, you talk with them, and their um, opinion for you goes up. And, yeah, that happens normally. <laughs> Who we got here? Joseph was just being up, so I'm actually going to steal Joseph's bleach. All right, I'm liking it. Joseph. Joseph's got some bleach for us. I'm taking Joseph's bleach. And also, we got Lee here. Lee had a bedsheet, timber, a plastic knife, and two of bleach. So, timber is actually pretty good since um, you can craft stuff with it. I think you can craft, like, things to hold up tunnels when you're digging. So, that's important. He also had a plastic knife, which you can get from here. The utensils tray. And... He also had bleach in a bed sheet. So, I'm going to leave him with his bleach. Let's take his knife so he can have a weapon on us. And you do that going into your profile. Click on plastic knife. You got ba bing ba boom. Now we have free periods. So, free periods, you can do anything. You can, uh, like, read. You can research. Um, so, browsing the web or reading in the library will increase your intellect. So this is one thing you have to do. So we're going to be doing this for the first few days in prison. Since when we get that, when we're um, browsing the internet or reading, then we get our intellect up. So with your intellect up, you can um, do, do things that, do jobs, that's it. Jobs that require higher intellect. So... That's another thing you can get jobs in this game. Um, like over here's the clothes, yeah, the clothing job where you have to wash clothes. So you can actually get um, the police officer's outfits from there. So if we get that job, we can snag an officer outfit and then get out that way. So we're just going to read for the time being right now on free period. Oh man, and while well, people walk by, can just see what they want. So, Ra Rahul <laughs> wants Officer Max kindly escorted me into the am into an ambush the other day, and I took a pretty hard beating. I'd like to return the favor. Are you up for it? So, this is um, a favor where you and Rahul, this guy. Or Bald Eagle and Rahul are gonna beat up Officer Max, and I I don't think that one's gonna go down pretty well. So we're gonna do a hard pass on that one. Officer Owens out there, 
who we got officer owens is one officer officer bentley we got another hunter another officer just a ran on the internet officer hunter it's okay was that officer mick oh man i think we had what was it five officers i'm pretty sure in this establishment so and that's that's a few officers to get around in the middle of the night when we're sneaking out of um the peaks the perks okay lunch period so that was two hours of reading that's pretty good and now we gotta go to lunch and we still have to get um journal the journal tells you your favors and stuff so we still have to get Ronaldo's teddy bear from spud so in the next free period we're going to go to spud's um cell and see if he has the teddy bear and we can get that back from Ronaldo. and this is the favors tab and this is the crafting so we can we know how to craft stuff so this was from my other um I think this was from my other playthrough, um, and saved it, I guess. So, like, these are just some things you can craft with the crafting section, like a utility key where you can get into locked doors and stuff like that, and all these other things. So we're gonna grab some lunch here. We're also gonna... You can use spoons to dig out, so this is gonna be a fun place to take some spoons from later on. Oh, and these things... Um, those are, like, silver chests that have, um, well, they're, I think they're all silver, but they have special items in them sometimes. So, if, say, I do the lunch job, or the working as a cook, then I can come in here and start chipping away at that wall, and then put, like, a poster up on it so no one knows, then I can sneak in there, take that stuff, go out, and put the wall back up be a sneaky little ninja you know sit down here get our energy back since reading um put some fatigue on us let's see what joseph has to do for us or what he wants us to do i'm on the lookout for a ball of mess and could you get me one sure that doesn't sound too bad we'll, we'll look out for a ball of mess and for you joseph oh man another fight breaking out there's already spud was already beaten the other time and you can't really check um people when officers are around and still see you doing it and we don't want that what's spud want samuel and his pals jumped me and took my worms game oh no that's that's bad man get me back get me it back and i'll give you a little reward worms game from samuel okay i'll say yes to this since it's good chance it's in samuel's um Samuel's cell. So we'll go there at the nighttime break. And it looks like we've been assigned to laundry, which is that's pretty good. I'm I'm happy with that for today. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I do? Come on, officer Hunter. Whoa, whoa, what's the problem, sir? Okay, I I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I was just going to my job. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and Officer Hunter just started wailing on me. Okay, so what we have to do is take dirty laundry. See here. Put it in the washing machine. Yep. And then we have two we can use. Take it out. And then we have to put it in the clean laundry section. So here are the police outfits that we can take, the guard outfits, and that one's clean. So let's put the clean laundry in there. Got guard outfits and prison outfits. We're doing a good job cleaning today, it looks like. Still don't know why he beat me, that, that was a bit confusing. But we have to fill our job quota for today. That's one thing that you have to do. If you don't fill the quota, then you do get kicked out of your job. So you can use that to get a new job. But you can also use that to... Uh, or if you just don't fill your job, then you lose. And that could be bad if you have a good job. So we're going to finish up these. Clothing. Um, guard outfits. 
and right there you can see our job quota has been filled for today. Ooh, I can hide in cabinets from guards, so if I'm in here late at night I can just hide there and I'm pretty sure green locks um, are like our job ones and if I have this job I think yeah I can go in there at any time. So now we have to go exercise. There, There's um, periods that happen like every day and you just click on it and then I think oh right it's Q and E sorry Th those are the buttons you just have to simultaneously press them and then you can see that we're running pretty fast Whew, like Usain Bolt all up in here so we're gonna be getting that um, speed go up so we can have more um, speed we can outrun those nasty cops yeah and uh, fatigue goes up from doing that so you have to go in the shower N nice public shower guards are watching officer max stop please please and then um, the showers get rid of your fatigue very fast yeah so we have people what's Rahul I need a bed sheet can you hook me up with one I can hook him up with a bed sheet that doesn't seem too bad and we'll try not to take too many job things because <laughs> then it just gets like crazy. So I'll, I'll keep at this and work these down um, throughout the days. Okay. So. I think the next period should be a free block. And we can go check. Who was it? Um, Spud's room we have to check and Samuel's room we have to check and just look for a bed sheet for Rahul and Bala Messin for Joseph okay oh man oh we got fighting down there got Lee and Edgar jeez these two are going at it I'm gonna slip in here Edgar and see what you got Ooh, he's got glass shard he's a dangerous man but that is good cuz that's a better weapon. I can use that bar chocolate postcard and ball of mess. And see, we already got the mess in for Joseph. So we can give that to Joseph right here. Got to put that glass shard on me before the guards get suspicious. If. Can I? Hmm. Don't know why. Can't put that on. Okay. But, anyways. Let's go to our evening meal. Grab some of that grub and sit down. So who is it? Joseph, right? Yeah, Joseph. So if we give it to Joseph, there we go. And okay, ball message for Joseph. When we talk to him, I think. Oh shoot. <laughs> okay, there we go. So. I messed that one up a bit. You have the mess in here, right? You have to click on them, then go to the little gift section. I'm pretty sure. And then you give them the medicine this way. And then they should give you the money. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I complete the favor for Joseph. And we got our first money. $21, and we already had some money. Jeez. Just lots of fights in this prison. God, these people are Riley. Riley. We're gonna check these guys as well. Post. Oh, it's Lee again. Jeez, Lee and Edgar. Gosh. Okay, evening free time. Gonna check. Spud and Samuel. So, you can just hoover over the desk to see who is there. So, Spud and Samuel, we have to go to. Okay, gotta shank someone. Ooh, who's that? Was that Samuel? Okay, we have to do this while no one is around because searching does take a while. And there is the worms game. We got, then we got duck out of there real quick. So, Spud, and here's Spud. Got no one around. Let's check that. Come on, come on, come on. Woohoo. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, does not look like yeah he did not have the teddy bear in there so that's gonna be on him 
we could beat him up, um, Spud, but, or is Spud, that's the real question, and Spud is probably stronger than me, so he has 45 strength, and he, he thinks I'm a pretty good guy, so if I beat him up and take his bear, um, then it's, it's not going to be too good for me, ooh, duct tape, duct tape is pretty good in this game, and we, we have, we're rolling in that dough right now, so let's check my strength. I might be able to take him down. No, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to. Unless I use like a glass shard on him or something. But I, I don't think we're going to beat him up right now. So since we don't think we can, we can deselect this um, favor. Which will make um, our opinion from Ronaldo go down. Since we said we can do it, but now we're bailing out, so Ronaldo's not gonna like us as much. But um, it, that that one's just not possible at the moment. So we did that, and now we still have our free peers. So let's let's check what was in our desk, because I did not check before. Soap, roll of toilet paper, toothpaste, and a comb. Okay. Not too bad. We can use the soap to make, um, in the tutorial, as you saw, we can make the sock mace. We have a bit more free time here. Seems like, oh, these two are fighting. Let's check his body. Roll of toilet paper. Rahul. Rahul, you didn't have anything good on you today. And in this free time, we can also read and stuff and browse the internet. So, I'm going to be doing a playthrough of The Escapist while I do um, Sanctum 2 as well. And I'll see how that goes. I've never done YouTube before. Um, just comment um, what you think about it, if you like it, if there's any uh, um, critiques. But yeah, I'm trying it out here. So we're going to begin our intellect up so we can be the smart man in the prison. We want to be the smartest one here so we can answer all those math questions as fast as we can. Because, you know, you need to know math for um, prison life. Ooh, infirmary staff, he's going. May I have your attention? Officer Owen, cell shakedowns are Isaiah and Samuel. Okay, so... We're good. We're clean. And after they call that, we can go to bed. Go sleep. If I can go sleep. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so we are good. Once everybody else gets in their beds, cuddles up, it's going to tell us, yeah, save game. And that is going to do it for... The first episode of The Escapist. This was pretty long. Um, I just threw the intro and day one in together. But the next days, I'm going to do like um, probably a day or two at a time. See how long that is. Want to keep them around like 15 minutes, I'd say. So um, I'll see you next time. And I've been Vested Tortoise. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Escapist. And I'll see you soon. Thanks and bye.